solo Dio lì. E noi sono idiomi, cammino, lingue per arrivare a Dio. There's only one God and each of us is a language, so to speak, in order to uh, arrive at God. Qualcuno è schi, qualcuno è musulmano, qualcuno è indi, qualcuno è cristiano, Indo, ma Christian. sono diversi cammini. There, there are different paths. Understood? <laughs> what is he talking about? What is he talking about? Incident has gone off. When Ensign's people say gone. that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm lost for words. I don't even know where to begin, how to even talk about this, where to even start, because the Pope, listen, I'm no Catholic. I'm Pentecostal, right? I'm no Catholic. But based on what I heard the Pope say, now, scares me. And the reason it scares me and it should scare you too is because although I don't subscribe as a Catholic, but because he stands as an individual that represents Christianity because Catholics believe in Jesus, but then they also believe in other things. The point is he is sitting on a seat of a pedestal that people look at him and other people of other religions look at him as the face for Christians. Those who are not well, very versed or understand how it really works in the Christian faith. Listen, he said something. I actually want you guys to hear what he said and I'm going to pause and talk about it, but this is scary. And if you don't get scared or if you're not with your eyebrow raised, like, hold up, what are you talking about? Then you got to have a discussion with yourself in the mirror because this and what's happening is just just paving the way for the Antichrist and the movement of the Antichrist to come one world religion and everybody just kind of singing kumbaya and if I get ahead of myself do me a favor like and comment and make sure you subscribe we're trying to get to 2000 we're on our way there we're almost there by the glory of God we will get there and if you find these videos not only educational but also if they uplift your spirit and it is entertaining to you subscribe follow us and share your comment it helps us to grow y'all hear me all right so let's actually get into this video buckle up giovani di questi qui no e la capacità del dialogo interreligioso one of the things that struck me about all of you here is your ability to engage in interreligious dialogue. E questo è molto importante. And this is very important. Perché? Okay. I, hey, that's true. It's good to have conversation with other people that don't believe or subscribe to your religion. Now, I'm using religion loosely, okay? It's okay. That's good. It's good to have conversation that are productive, you know, because that's how you are able to even share the gospel. Let's continue. Si voi incominciate a litigare, la mia religione è più importante della tua. La mia è la vera, la tua non è vera. Dove ci porta questo? Because if we start to fight amongst ourselves and saying, my religion is more important than yours, my religion is true, yours is not, where will that lead us? Dove? Where will it lead us? Qualcuno risponda, dove? Someone respond, where, where would it lead us? Destruzione. E cosa, così. E ci vuole litigare. Yes, I'm going to get into this. I don't want to make this video long, but yes, my religion. I, again, I'm using the term religion loosely, but my relationship to Jesus Christ is superb and superior to every other religion out there, to other, to any other deity out there. And if you get upset, I don't, that's, that's all right. It's okay for you to get upset. The fact of the matter is truth cast out darkness, light cast out darkness. So when light shows up, darkness got to go. So if you get upset, that's because the darkness in you, I'm not trying to sound mean or rude or as though I'm not loving, but that dark darkness in you, that doctrine and those lies that you believed all your life is now being uh, uh, confronted. And now you're in a position where your back is against the wall and you got to accept this is true. This isn't. I've seen people come out of wheelchairs. Your religion doesn't do anything like that. Let's continue. Yes, it's okay to discuss and to... Tutte le religioni sono un cammino per arrivare a Dio. Because every religion is a way to arrive at God. Sono... Dirò una comparazione. Sono come diverse lingue, diversi idiomi per arrivare lì. Sort of a comparison, an example would be they're sort of like different languages in order to arrive at God. Ma Dio è Dio per tutti. But God is, is God for all. Like, what? What? 
Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh uh. Nah, nah, he lied to y'all. Yeah, that's that's a both his lie. Ayo, that's a lie. All religion does not lead to God. What are you talking about? Mr. Pope Francis. I don't subscribe to Catholicism, all right? So, but the fact that you kind of stand in that seat of representing Christians because you're one of the highest figure in a religion setting, one of the highest, and you going to sit there and talk about how all religion lead to God. Are you okay? Do you read your Bible? Let's go to a book called John chapter 14, and I'm going to read verse six. And the Bible says, Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. I'm going to read that one more time. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one come to the Father except through me. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? about uh, what do you mean that there you can get to Jesus or you can get to God in multiple? No, listen, you can get to uh, the, the demonic God. You can get to deities that are below the true God, but there is no way you can get to the true King of Kings, the Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts through Hinduism, through Buddhism, through Judaism, through Islam, through self-consciousness and new age, through witchcraft, because that's you basically saying people who, who, who worship Satan, who represents as a god to them you can also that's the same way to get to god are you mad you're mad you're not serious but let's continue e come dio e dio per tutti noi siamo tutti figli di dio and if god is god for all then we're all sons and daughters of god ma il mio dio è più importante del tuo but my god is more important than your god è vero quello is that true Yes. C'è un solo Dio lì. E noi sono idiomi, cammino, lingue per arrivare a Dio. There's only one God and each of us is a language, so to speak, in order to uh, arrive at God. Qualcuno è schi, qualcuno è musulmano, qualcuno è indi, qualcuno è cristiano, Indo, ma Christian. sono diversi cammini. There, there are different paths. Understood? <laughs> what is he talking about? Yo, yo. What is he talking about? Uh, <laughs> going off. When people gone. say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. Let's let's address the fact that he said we're all children of God. Nah, I'm gonna tell you something. We actually read in the book of John one, the Bible says in chapter chapter one of, of John in verse eleven, he came to his people, his own people, and they rejected him. Verse twelve says, But to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. Who is the him he's talking about? Jesus Christ. Get it right. I'm not trying to be rude, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm not trying to be condescending, but I'm just saying if you stand and you say you are the Pope, that means you understand Bible and you understand scripture. I ain't no Catholic. I don't subscribe to the Catholicism rule. However, you are representing, right, a bunch of Christians to all those who don't believe in Christianity. They see you as a face and you talk about how we're all children. We're not all children. We're all creation. Is a different. We're all creations of God, but we're not all children of God. If you don't know Jesus, you have not been adopted. You are on your own. You're basically out Outside. You are outside the, 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 the building. Pretty much you have not have gra- been granted access to enter the building. Until you accept Jesus, that's when you become a heir with Christ. You now can call Jesus your brother. You now become part of God's family. And for you to say there is one God, but there are many, many ways to get there. No, 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 no. Jesus, God, they are not people that are, uh, 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 um, what's the word, flip, fi- fickle, or flippant, or flimsy. There's not multiple ways to get to God. Because if that was the case, why did Jesus come? Why did Jesus come and say, I am the way? Why did he resurrect from the dead? Why did he go present himself to the Father and said, here, the lamb that was slain, and here's the blood, to show proof that I have done what you've called me to do. And then by the name of Jesus, we are saved. And through his blood, we are redeemed and washed of our sins. Why would Jesus have to go through all that if you can get through Jesus, or you can get bypass Jesus through Islam. You can bypass Jesus and go to God through Buddhism. You can bypass Jesus and go to God through New Age movement, through witchcraft, through demonic worship. Why did Jesus have to come and go through all that suffering that he went through and take on the cross and become the perfect sacrifice? Why? You can't answer that. 
You can't answer that because it is ridiculous for you to say there are multiple ways and many ways to God. We're all children. No, we're not. I don't know where you get that information from, Mr. Pope. We're not all children of God. We're all creation. It's different. Just like you have a dog and you have cats and you have lions and elephants that God created. He also created man. But man separated himself from God when they sinned in the Garden of Eden. And for man to be reconciled, Jesus had to come. The Bible says for one man's disobedient sin entered and separated us but then for one man's obedience god restored the relationship that was broken years and years ago i'm gonna read one more verse to you i gotta go the bible says in the book of matthew 7 verse 15 it says beware of false prophets who come disguised as harmless sheep but are really vicious wolves you can identify them by their fruit that is that is by the way they act can you pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? A good tree produces good fruit and a bad tree produces bad fruit. A good tree cannot produce bad fruit and a bad tree cannot produce good fruit. So every tree that does not produce good fruit is chopped down and thrown into the fire. Yes, just as you can identify a tree by its fruit so you can identify people by their action. Listen, you have to take what this man is saying and compare it back to the Bible. You got to vet him. The Pope, he is on the highest pedestal and he he appeared, you know, like he's like people worship this man. Right. I don't. He's not God. And listen, I don't subscribe to Catholicism. Why? Because I believe in Jesus. I don't believe that you have to go confess your sin to a man. I don't believe in, in, in praying to the Mother Mary. I don't believe in any of that. I don't believe in purgatory and pain to get into heaven. I don't believe in any of those things. I grew up Catholic, but now I'm not. I'm move past that. I'm Pentecostal. I'm charismatic. I'm in the world of being born again believer. I speak in tongues and I believe that Jesus at the sound of his name, every knee must bow and tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. So let me tell you something. You can say Allah. You can say Buddha. You can pray to Krishna. You can do crystals and new age and all this stuff. You can do witchcraft. And guess what? You, it will not save you. At the end of the day, you will end up in eternal damnation separated by from God. And it will not lead you to peace or fulfillment or, or joy or or happiness you might have temporary peace or temporary fulfillment or temporary joy but it will not be everlasting now when i serve jesus and i give my life to him i have fulfillment joy peace happiness that is everlasting because i'm no longer in time i'm outside of time because i live in christ jesus and he lives in me do you understand so for you to sit there and tell me that all way lead to, to God, that's a lie because Jesus is the bridge and he is the bridge because he lived a life that no man could live. He paid the price that no other man could pay and he set you and I free. And if he had not done that, we would not be in this position. But because he did it, that's why at the sound of his name, you and I are saved and by his blood we are washed. I hope this minister to you. I don't know what you think about it. Maybe you're upset of what I've said. Maybe you feel some type of way, but take it to the Bible. Pray about it. And let me be honest with you. Be very careful for people who say you can get to Jesus anyway. You can get to God anyway. It's all the same. They're lying to you and they're going to lead you astray. Get them out of your own. Read your own Bible and make sure you tune in. Amen. All right. Do me a favor. Like this video. Subscribe to this channel and tune in for the next video. I'll see you when I see you. It's your boy. Yeah.